When I first fell in love with Mr. Fox, he warned me, you can't trust me, my dear, just when you By the time the autumn leaves have fallen, you will mourn my absence. And yet, I couldn't help it. After all, he was wearing such a dashing red coat, like a soldier. He had such a twinkle in his eye. He danced so nimbly, holding my hands in paws on which he wore black kid gloves. His tail ended in a white I knew about the others, of course, or at least I'd heard rumors. I knew he was no innocent. I knew about the one who had drowned herself in a river, her muslin gown floating around her. I knew about the one who had locked herself away in a convent. How does one fall out of love with a thief who has already stolen one's heart? But I was cautious. I went to his castle in the woods. Be bold, said the sign above the gate. Be bold, but not too bold. I've never been good at listening to advice or taking it. I was too bold, as usual. What did I find? First, a pleasant parlor with blue silk curtains and rosewood furniture. Beside a barrel of apples, waiting to be turned into cider. Bathrooms with modern plumbing. A dining room that contained a mahogany table large enough for banquets but seldom used, judging by the dust. Where was his secret chamber? There must be one. On top of a desk in his study, I'd seen a photograph of the girl who drowned, beside a vase of lilies like a memorial. It was locked, of course, but I took out my lockpick tools. If he was a thief, I was another. It opened easily. There was no blood on the floor. There were no dead, dismembered wives hanging from hooks. Instead, the walls were covered with masks. Fox, badger, mole, boar, weasel, otter, squirrel. Even one that resembled a tree. All the masks he had worn, presumably. And on one wall, opposite the window, which badly needed washing, was a portrait of an ordinary man with sandy hair and tired eyes. I locked the room behind me. At our wedding, he said, Are you sure, my dear? With a toothy grin that seemed... To marry the dangerous Mr. Fox, I asked. Who knows? You might gobble me up, but I'll take my chances. He seemed satisfied and swung me into a waltz. There's a moral to this story, ladies. Have your own set of lockpick tools. Also, be bold and wise and cunning.